tonight that he's always on time. He's never late. He's never early, but he's always on time. We praise God for that. I've been thinking today, and maybe you can pray it with me. So many times it's easy for God to pray that God would get in your direction, that God would go the way you're going. But the Lord's been dealing with me today that I need to get in the way he's going. I need to go where he's at. And I don't know about you tonight, but I'm here tonight to get where he is and flow with him and go in his direction. And we're excited tonight, so blessed and so honored to have Melissa Graw sharing the word of God tonight. Would you help her, help me welcome that? So excited for her to speak tonight. And I know if I know... Melissa very well I know that she has prayed and prayed and prayed and God has given her something and we can't wait to hear it and we're so glad to see each and every one of you here tonight so we want you to get out in the aisles and welcome one another into God's house tonight Jesus said 
Jesus Christ in your heart tonight. Amen. Isn't it good to be in God's house? How many of you are actually glad to be in God's house tonight? The writer of the word of God said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I want to read a scripture to you from, from Psalms chapter 50, 150. It says, praise ye the Lord. The writer said, praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. How many of y'all, the Lord has ever done anything good for you ever in your life? Amen. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. How many of you saw the sun this morning come up right on time? It's going to set exactly right on time. The moon's going to take its place. And we're going to orbit around the sun just perfectly overnight. Thank the Lord. Praise Him for His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and harp. Praise Him with the timbrel and dance. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high-sounding cymbals. And it says in verse 6, you know it, say it with me. Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord. Would you do that one more time? Just lift up praise unto the Lord tonight. Amen. 
What that verse is simply kind of telling us is we ought to just praise God with everything we have. When I was a youth minister way back in the day, I would say to the young people, I'd say, now we're going to do 35 seconds of pure praise. And I said, I want you to use your feet, your hands, your fingers, use your hair, whatever you got on your body. I want you to find a way to praise the Lord with it. You ought to see the pandemonium that would take place in that room. They would just shake all over the place and give God praise. I'm telling you, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Give him praise. And let, him be, let it be known that he is God over all the earth and all of the universe. And he is the great God of mighty excellence and power. And he's worthy of our praise. If we did nothing tonight, if we didn't sing another song, if we didn't hear a word, if we didn't come to an altar altar call if we did nothing for the next 45 minutes to an hour but lift up praise and I mean it never stopped we just kept on praising God how many of you know it would be well worth our time to give him the praise I hope you've learned I hope you've learned the power of praise brother Charlie I've been I've been discouraged and I will just get off somewhere and begin to praise the Lord just honor him and exalt his name. And I'm telling you, it, the heavy burdens begin to lift off of me. I've been, I've felt attacked before by the enemy. And I have, I have done nothing. I didn't have anything else in my hand. I had no other weapon except my praise. And I begin to praise him and let God know how awesome he was and how little the devil was. And how much greater he was in me than he that's in the world. And I remember watching over and over and over again the heaviness around me, the attack around me would just dispel. And the enemy would do exactly what the Bible says he would do. The Bible says you resist him and he'll what? He'll flee from you. Now, when the enemy flees... That he don't just go, ooh. No, he turns high tail and runs. When he flees, he runs. Doesn't that make you just want to right now just, I honor you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you coming in the door. I praise you going out the door. I praise you in the sanctuary. I praise you in the altar. I praise you upon stage in the choir. I praise you in the pew where I'm standing tonight. Because when you praise, that's you resisting the work of the enemy in this house. I want you right now, however you want to do it. If you want to clap your hands, if you want to just lift your hands, if you want to lift your voice, however you want to do it, I want us to take about 30 seconds and give God praise in this house tonight. Would you help me? Let's praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. We lift you up and honor you, Father. We magnify you and exalt you above all other things any other power in this earth or in this world. We come tonight in your name. We stand in your name. We have our victory in your name. And we bless you tonight, Lord. And we thank you for your love in our lives. We thank you that you lead us. We thank you that you guide us. And that, Lord, you protect and you keep us. For we are here tonight, not by our own strength, not by anything we've done. We are unworthy to even stand in your presence. The very best of us here tonight are unworthy. But how many of you know tonight the Lamb is worthy? Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, He's worthy. Amen. Amen. Turn to somebody and say, it's feeling good up in here. Hashtag revival. <laughs> you can be seated. Can I just testify to you tonight? God is answering prayers. God is answering prayers. I'm telling you, let, every time I turn around, someone else has given me a testimony to God answering a prayer. I, I am amazed. I even had Sister Tool tonight. She, she, as I went by to just shake her hand, she said, my, the Lord is doing things in this church. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm hearing answered prayer. I told somebody, I said, there is no way you could label it anything else. We are in a season of answering, of God answering prayers. I'm telling you, he's doing it. You need to believe him. You need to trust him. You need to call out every need you've got to him. God is going to provide. He's going to bless. He's going to guide. 
and God is going to save. How many of you have lost loved ones that we're still praying for? Amen. I'm believing. God is answering prayers. So I want to thank you tonight for being here, and I want you to get ready as our ushers come to serve you. I want you to just bless the Lord with your gifts. You're not blessing the church. You're not blessing the denomination. When you pay your tithes, you're not paying your tithes to the church. You're paying your tithe and you're giving in offerings unto the Lord. And when you give in that right mindset, I tell you, I don't know that I, I've never given a dollar in an offering or in a service where I was giving it to the church. I always make sure the Lord knows I don't come empty handed into his house because I've come to bless his work in his name. Amen. Bless the Lord tonight. Bless him. Praise him with every thankful gift you've got and anything you can do. Find ways to honor him in your house, on your job, with your family, with your friends, wherever you go. Find ways to praise the Lord in everything that you do. Father, as we come tonight, we honor you and we bless your name. I thank you that you're a God who meets our needs and that you provide for your people. So many times, so many stories of how you have instantly, miraculously come through for your people. We honor you tonight, and Lord, we bless you in our offering. We bless your name and thank you that we have been blessed. And we give you honor for it all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Tonight, I want, as we get ready for the word, I want you to open your heart and your mind to Sister Melissa as she comes. She works with our discipleship group. She, she's our discipleship pastor here at the church. I was talking with her at lunch the other day and as we were sharing and talking about discipleship ministry. And it was kind of a meeting where we were just going back and forth over the plans and the things that she's go, got going in small group ministry here at our church. Felt impressed as she was sharing about her love and her passion for discipleship. I said, man, the church needs to hear this. And it wasn't long before we got almost to the end of that, that lunch where the Lord instructed me and said, you ask her to speak Sunday night and share that. She's come with a message, and I'm excited. How many of you love Melissa Grawl? She is a wonderful young lady. We love her. She's anointed. God's got his hand on her, and I believe she's got a word for us tonight. And I'm excited to be in God's house. So she'll be coming as soon as our choir blesses us with their worship tonight. God bless you. Lord, my brothers and my sisters, we have come in one accord to worship and adore you like we never have before. We want to know you now in a new and different way as we worship here before you. Let your glory fill this place. Oh. Let your glory fill this place. Let your glory fill this place, Lord. Let your glory fill this place.
praise to you. Fire burn. 